Zucchini can be a little bland, but trust me, there's nothing bland about my baked spinach and zucchini. It's got lots of great flavors in it. So I'm starting with about a pound of zucchini. You wanna choose zucchini that are about the same size. You don't want like big, thick zucchini because they get kind of woody in the middle. These are really small and just really tender. And I sliced them all about a half an inch thick. I've heated about two tablespoons of olive oil in a pan. I'm just gonna put the zucchini in. Okay, so that's a pound of zucchini. And I've got six scallions I've chopped up. Put them all in. And give it a little stir. So I'm just gonna saute this for about three minutes just until it gets softened a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna prep the garlic. So I've got two cloves of garlic. This is the way I, the chef once taught me this. It's if you smash the garlic, you get the best flavor from it and it's really easy to chop. Just like that. And just cook this for one minute. I never cook garlic for more than one minute, otherwise it gets that burnt flavor. You want it just like a hint of great garlic. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the heat and next is spinach. And I'm gonna use frozen spinach instead of fresh. It is so much easier and it's really good. So I've got two 10 ounce packages of frozen spinach that I've kind of pressed out most of the water, but you don't want all the water pressed out because otherwise it gets really dry. So there are very few vegetables that are better frozen, but this is one of them, spinach, as opposed to huge piles of fresh spinach. Just stir that in. Okay, next is a cup of cooked basmati rice. I just follow the directions on the back of the package. Just give some substance to the dish. And if there's any liquid from the spinach, it'll absorb it. Okay, next I've got two herbs. A quarter of a cup of minced fresh parsley. Gives it lots of fresh flavor. And a quarter of a cup of julienne fresh basil. Okay, next is a little nutmeg. Just great with this dish. Just a, just a hint of it. Two tablespoons of lemon juice, because I think everything needs a little acid kind of wakes up all the flavors. Two teaspoons of salt. May seem like a lot, but this vegetable is a little bland and you want the flavors to really pop. Sprinkle it around so it's well distributed. One teaspoon of pepper. This is a great make-ahead dish. You can put the whole thing together in advance and just throw it in the oven before dinner. Okay, give that a big stir. So for the custard, I've got four extra large eggs three quarters of a cup of heavy cream, a little bit of butter. I melted two tablespoons of butter that are gonna go right in. And you wanna whisk them in because if the butter's warm, you don't wanna cook the eggs. I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna put more Parmesan on top. Okay, so that's the custard. So you can put this all in one big dish, but I thought it'd be so nice to put them in little individual cast iron skillets so everybody gets their own skillet. So I've greased the inside of it. I'm gonna get six skillets, so a six of the vegetable. Just put it right in. I'm just gonna pour the custard right over the top. I'm just gonna to top it with a little Parmesan cheese and some Gruyere. Just grate it right on top. So they go into the oven, 350 degrees for 20 minutes, and happily I have some already baking, so I can show you how good they look. Mmm, they smell so good. Mmm, so good.